Hey guys, what's going on? Honda Rider here, bringing you a video on how to install Forge for Minecraft. And just so you, for those of you that don't know, Forge allows you to install several, several different mods for Minecraft. It kind of is the basis for them. If you know what Mod Loader is, it's basically, it's kind of similar. It just helps your mods. It loads your mods for you, helps them run smoother, and it's taking over. Uh, most mods use Forge now instead of Mod Loader. But anyways, let's get into it. So first what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to have a zipping program. So I use WinRAR. So to download it, you can go www.win-rar.com. All the links in this video will be in the description. Um, you can just go here, click download WinRAR, and uh, go ahead and just hit download right there. And it will download it for you. Just install that just like any other program. And then what you're going to need is Minecraft Forge itself. Now go to minecraftforge.net as you see here and it's going to take you straight to the form and right here on top it says releases click on that and in here you will see all of the re releases and uh, like previous and the newest ones for Minecraft so as you see here this is Forge 6.6.0 for Minecraft 1.4.7 which is what we're currently on so if you just click on that it's going to take you to that thread and then right here you'll just click on the direct universal download or you can do the AdFly. AdFly will help support them. Um, it will just play an ad for five seconds and you can download it just like normal and they'll get a little money off of it. So it helps them keep developing the mod. But once you have those two, they're uh, both going to be downloaded as RARs except for, uh, sorry, WinRAR will not be, it'll be executable. But anyways, this is what Minecraft Forge Universal will look like. So once you have this, what you're going to need to do is go over to your start and in your search programs and files just type percent app data percent and you're going to get this little roaming folder go ahead and click on that and you're going to see dot minecraft at the top it should be at the top and if you want to make things simpler i would right click on it hit create shortcut and then drag that shortcut to your desktop or somewhere you um, have access to so you don't have to go through that process every time you can just double click that and it'll take you straight into your minecraft or of course just double click the dot minecraft once you're in here you're going to go into your bin folder and then you're going to right click on minecraft um, as you see it is a winrar archive but if it's not if it says it's java that's fine right click on it and hit open with and from there you can choose winrar so we'll go ahead and do that once you get in here this is your java executable file for minecraft you're going to delete this meta-inf folder just like so then you're going to open up your forge minecraft forge we'll open it here in winrar and then you're simply going to get it over here copy all the files from minecraft forge and paste them straight into your minecraft.jar it's gonna be as simple as that hit ok and you are good to go and we close out this stuff here and just to show you when we hit minecraft and we hit run oh i don't have i just reinstalled um windows 7 on this computer windows 8 and it sucks so don't get it um but when you run it it's just gonna say minecraft uh forge is loading it'll load your mods for you and it's as simple as that and uh once you have let me show you this once you have minecraft forge installed whoops Um, you will have a mods folder right here. Here you can simply, most of your mods will require you just to drag the actual RAR file or zip file that you download from the uh, mods webpage and just simply drag that whole file into your mods folder and Minecraft Forge will do the rest. It will unzip it, it will run it for you. So sometimes you, you want to read it because sometimes it will require you to do other things but mostly 99% of the time you just drag the file straight in there and you're ready to play with the mods. So thanks for watching guys. Go ahead and rate this video, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Peace out.